Welcome to a video from the digitallifes.com, the new Windows 11 build to look at. This is 22518 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. And there's a couple of interesting new features in this. Once again, not everything is rolling out to all Windows Insiders at the same time. Um, but there's some interesting stuff to see on this. And before I start as well, I want to mention that on a recent podcast, um, I had... Microsoft's uh, Brandon LeBonk on the show from the Windows Insider team. So if you're interested to know more about Windows Insider, check out our YouTube channel. Right, what's in 22518? Well, Microsoft say they've um, updated the Spotlight collection. So if we go on to here, the desktop, and we do personalize. And there you go, we can have Windows Spotlight on there. So these pictures change over time. Um, so here's the lock screen and we can use Windows Spotlight and you can also use those as your background as well for your your, your desktop, desktop background. Interesting when I go on to um, my device, I don't get the option for Spotlight on the, as, on the desktop background. So hopefully that will roll out soon, I'll be able to get that a try, but this is quite a nice idea. Another new feature that I, and I, one I can't show you is they've change the what they call the entry point for widgets I can show you what it looks like on a screenshot so this is from the Windows Insider blog so it's, this is from the Windows Insider blog see they've put the entry point down here on the bottom left so when you click on that it brings up the widgets so it, on my machine it would be down here on the bottom left I'm not sure I particularly that keen on that to be honest because um, at the moment you enter it from there I kind of like this cleaner look on it especially so yeah we'll see Microsoft say that the Microsoft say that the, the they're working on this feature and they want the feedback um, so you can give you feedback when you get that feature um, let's say it's rolling out not to everybody at the moment there's some other things that Microsoft have introduced a new feature that Microsoft introduced is the accessibility speech voice access. So you can use it for opening browsers or reading your email or um, any speech you know, control you want to do in Windows, you can do through here. So you can, you can turn it on through here. I'm not sure it's going to work with my built-in microphone, which is record, the microphone I'm using to do, record the, the voice overlay. But there's a lo whole load of commands that you can use. Um, so you can say, like... Um, turn off microphone, turn off microphone, that kind of thing. And uh, you can say open edge and all the kind of things you want to minimize window, all the kind of things you want to do and read email and so on. So, um, yeah, a nice feature for accessibility. Uh, it used to be the kind of thing you would perhaps get Cortana to do, but now it's built into the, um, into the operating system, uh, which is good. Another change is um, the Windows subsystem for Linux. Uh, it's easier to install uh, via, from the store. Uh, so uh, when you go to the store and do the install, it automatically sort of configures it and uh, with that to make it a bit easier to run. There's a full blog post on this, but I think that's quite a good idea. The input picker has been updated. This is the updated input picker. Um, now, on the screenshots I've seen from Microsoft, it looks a bit more... Uh, with, it's got the acrylic background, so but the Microsoft say once again they're rolling this out over time, so that's why I've not seen uh, that change just yet. Right, a couple of the finish, things to finish off um, in File Explorer. If you right click on a certificate, you get the option to install the certificate. If you right click on a font, you get install to install a font, and you get the if you right click on this PC, if you right click on this PC, you get an option to. Uh, map network drives and things like that. The rest of things are just fixes um, and uh, the rest of the issues are just minor fixes. There's still some known issues. Uh, one is a, a new one where it may crash on the screen um, when certain apps, DWM crashes. Um, so watch out for that one as well. So thanks for watching this video. That's 2251 eight for windows inside on the dev channel i wish i could get a bit more of these new features to show you them in the video but that's the way it is thanks for watching